larger or value out across the gulf, making its way closer to the inland Florida, and that's where it will sign over the next several hours. We still have a Category 1 hurricane. That is the latest from the 11 a.m. update. A Category 1 hurricane, the next points has increased 5 miles per hour, but we also are expecting an increase of that tropical or that hurricane shift into a Category 2 storm, right? So, 105 miles per hour, about 8 p.m. tonight. That is going to rapidly intensify as it has been doing and change it very quickly as it enters open water. And then eventually becoming a Category 3 storm before it makes a landfall. Now, as far as that breath goes, it hasn't moved too much. Well, what we're going to happen with that storm as it moves north? But we still have just about the same trend. So, just around Dixie County up to Jefferson County is kind of where that truck lies. But again, the biggest uh, communication that we have possibly seen here today is that the impacts are going to be much more widespread than just this cone. The cone is important for landfall and where that hurricane eventually lands. And then on the east and south, that would be the biggest impacts, but we still have widespread impacts across our area. The other part of the update from 11 a.m. is that this is not a trip to make landfall as a major category three hurricane. We knew that. The increase of wind speed to 125 miles per hour to stay in the wind. A category four hurricane, 130 miles per hour. So this is a strong category three hurricane possibility to make that landfall. Now, as far as central winds go, again, the most damage to property and life is when storm surge comes into play. The biggest warning that the natural hurricanes become issues during the hurricane. Seven to 11 feet of storm surge possible. This is not water just rising up. This is violent water. So a lot of energy pushing it went quickly across two and kind of Dixie County, the hardest hit areas, but you cannot rule that out for parts of Franklin and Wakulla County. So all of those areas still under that storm warning, that surge warning, and then we also have an increase in hurricane warnings as well. And uh, again, so Wakulla, Franklin County, looks like Leon County now included in that hurricane warned area. We do expect uh, those winds to likely get up to 74 miles per hour to stay with the current in the next 36 hours. So we're talking landfall early on Wednesday morning. Impacts well before that. If you have to get any of your preparations done, make sure you do that now because we are 